Okay, let's talk about uh, Angular architecture then. So what might I do in terms of approaching Angular? So again, you know, the differences between Angular and Faceted is obviously quite, you know, quite simple. It's all about angles. But again, you know, the approach in terms of how you create those angles um, is slightly different. So uh, let's take some uh, card. So you should have already had a look at my previous video, which talks about obviously, uh, you know, straight line structures. Uh, in terms of what we're doing, uh, that could be obviously translated into brutalist modernist. And then we're going to look at angular structures and faceted. So angular is quite, quite different. You can be quite free form with this. Okay. So uh, what I like to do is get myself um, a piece of card. push down a bit harder so here we are I've got my piece of card now what I could do is let's take uh, a pen and then what we could do is I could I'm just going to take some lines so let's draw some lines down here uh, it's okay if you can't see them that's actually even better uh, I'm going to draw some lines across and I'm also going to draw some lines across this way. Okay, now what I'm going to do then is I'm actually then going to score those. So I'm going to score them. Okay, I'm going to score this line. And I'm going to score this line. Now these are going to be folds. Oh. These are going to be folds. Okay. So again, can you start to see now? Oh. Look at this. I'm starting to get an angular sort of shape. Now, what I might do, quite like that. Okay, so I'm going to now take another piece and I'm going to do something very similar. So I'm going to take another piece. Again, make sure you're pushing against the ruler. Okay. And... This time, rather than drawing on, because I've got a bit more confident now, I'm going to score. I'm going to score. I'm going to score. Okay, so again, okay, that's slightly broke open, but actually, quite like that. Yeah, so let's start that, you know, that's, a, that's an opening, isn't it? Okay, so what could I do? I could start having something like this. Already, can you see we're starting to get some really interesting shapes? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to open this up a bit more. So I'm going to score, take my ruler, Ben. Take my ruler, and I'm going to score down here. I'm going to completely open this up now so it becomes a flap. Okay, just open this here uh, like so. So just so I'm starting to get some variation in my shape. But again, I could start to add that. I quite like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tape. Okay. And I'm going to just glue or tape the inside. Okay. So it's got this sort of shape coming through. Uh, and then also going to tape this to here. So I've got a bit more strength. So again, I'm just using tape here. And now I need to start thinking about how these, these two are going to relate together as, as a structure. I quite like this bit coming through. I might have them separate, actually. Quite like that. So again, what I would do now is I would take my, uh, take my card. Again, I'm using a different uh, card for this. I like to show a different uh floor space to represent this the the actual ground and i like to use the gray card for the uh the actual building structure and then this sort of looks a bit like sand but again you could sw switch them around if you wanted to you know having having the variation in the in the card is much better yeah it's a much better idea so again just take that bit off there. So I'm starting to get that idea. 
Um, and then I'm going to, oh, look at that. Did you just see that? That just, that just perfectly, just by throwing that on, it would fit just there. So here we are, uh, if I can remember that. So again, I'm just going to pop that there. Nice bit of tape. Nice bit of tape here. Can you see that? And then I'm just going to add that to that edge like so to show that that fits down. And then I'm going to curve that over. And then what I would do is I'd probably go inside and then start taping up these edges. So again, I'm just going to put a little bit there just for the time. I would probably tape all the way across. Okay. And then I would then start fold that little bit over to say, right, okay, this is where it sticks. Push that down. If you have a glue gun, I'd glue in the inside, and then that structure fits there. So again, can you see that? You're getting a really nice, interesting uh, architectural structure here, a um, bit like Daniel Lieberskind. Um, but yeah, quite, quite pleased with that. If you had a bit more time, I could start adding elements together to create something like so. Okay, but um, yeah, very pleased with that.